Hi, Rob here. Today it's about a do-it-yourself project at home. We've got a PVC pipe. Here's the entrance right here, and it runs through our planter box here, and it comes out the other end right there, goes into the drain, and then it runs out under the grass, outer retaining wall, in, and discharges in the street. And what the issue is, it, it catches all the water from this uh, concrete and sidewalk area here. What the issue is, is it catches leaves. So my partner, she, uh, we got this at Home Depot. This is what we use for our screen. It's available from Home Depot. And she stuck it in there to catch the leaves, but it's just, it's just not very good. So I'm gonna see if I can cut it down with my uh, tin snips, cut it down and make something that's a little more, a little more better to go in there and still allow water flow, but yet catch leaves. So uh, well, here we go. I've got the old screen that we were using all opened up and kind of flattened out and using some uh, physics principles this is an inch and a half diameter pipe that I want to make the screen for, so. ID equals the inside diameter. The circumference, C, equals 2 times pi times the radius, R. 2 times the radius, R, equals the inside diameter, ID. So, the inside diameter, ID, times pi, equals the circumference, C, for my situation 1.5 inches, inside diameter, times pi, 3.14, equals 4.7 inches minimum that I need for the screen width. I want to cut this screen about, I'll say four and a half, five inches so it'll overlap. So I'm going to cut it about right here where my thumb is, and then we can wrap it around and have a smaller, more compact design. We got my piece cut, it's approximately five inches. Now I'm going to make it circular and insert it in the hole. I wrapped it around a piece of three quarter inch PVC that I had just to give it the uh, round shape. Now I'll take it off here and then insert it in the hole see how it how it works well it's way too long this piece is about seven inches and the pipe straight in there seven inches is too long so I'm thinking maybe maybe four inches so I'll trim this so that it's four inches long and try again I've got to trim four inches long and then I used my uh, pliers here to bend the edge so that we have a 90 degree to block the leaves. So now I'm gonna roll it up and slide it in the hole. See how that works. That worked. I ended up cutting it four, four inches long and then I used my pliers and I bent the top at a 90 so it would, uh, when I roll it up, there would be some uh, screen at the top. Now basically we have a little bubble in this pipe to collect leaves. And then every now and then we'll just come here and clean it out, blow it out, so that we won't get leaves in here to plug up the line. Good luck if you choose to do something like this. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.